Welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, and retiring early. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, will you please do that? I would love to have you along on this journey. Okay, today is going to be my Etsy check-in for the first week of March. Wait, no, yes, March. Sorry guys, <laughs> this is my first video no, goodness gracious. Okay, this is my second video since my concussion. Um, I've tried to film some other ones and I was just too confused and making too many mistakes, but I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to do this. So if I do make mistakes, I apologize ahead of time. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go over everything I'm using today and then we will jump right in. So this tray here, which I'll be putting my cash on in a couple minutes. It's actually a, a sunglass tray or glasses tray that I got from Amazon. Everything from Amazon is all in my Amazon storefront, which is linked below. Also from Amazon, I have this planner. It's a personal size planner. It's a great price. It's only $8. And I will be using this pen from Pilot. It's called the Pilot Friction Pen and it's erasable. Okay, also today I will be using the Plum Paper Notebook, which I think runs for about $16. Um, I can give you a 10% off discount code if you are a first time purchaser with Plum Paper. All you have to do is email me at jbleacher at gmail.com and I can get that discount code to you. Okay. Um, then I have the Budget Mom wallet, which we'll be pulling out in a second here. And then finally, I have stickers and printables for my Etsy shop. I have my business budget stickers here. These are also available in a set of printable worksheets in this pattern and all the, in all the monthly patterns I have so far this year. I also printed off two of the three envelopes that come in this, in this kit. This pattern is called Modern Blooms. And when you purchase the printable envelopes, it just comes in a set of three and I only need two. So here are the two that I'll be using. And then I also printed off the expense tracker. Okay, I'm gonna to start today by getting everything set up for the month of March. And I'm just going to fast forward this part and um, play some music for you guys. So I'll be back in a couple of, well, to me, it'll be a few minutes, but to you, it'll be a couple of seconds. Okay, now that we have everything set up, I am going to take the money that I withdrew from the bank. I withdrew um, our taxes and our take home pay. And the reason why I do that is because I deposit the taxes into a savings account that's just for taxes at the end of the month. So I collect it all month long and then I pay off tax, I put it in that account at the end of the month. And then take home pay, I also take out because I move it to our main family account. And so far we've been able, to, since we start, since I started doing this a few, <laughs> couple months ago, um, we've been able to uh, put most of that towards our debt snowball, which is very exciting. So today we're doing an Etsy check. 30% of the check will go to taxes, 30% will go to expenses, and 40% will become my take home pay. Okay, so we're gonna start here with the income page. And this was for last Tuesday, I get paid on Tuesdays, and I believe it was the second. Um, I believe it was the second. So I'm gonna say March 2nd. So three, two, the source was Etsy. 
The amount was $402 for a total of 402 because this is our first week and we will continue to add the totals as we go through the weeks. Okay, so that's our income. Let's look at taxes. So the date and the source is the same. Okay, so this time for taxes, we are going to do 30%. So we had 402 times 0.3. So that gives me $20.60. I like to round up to make that 121, but I actually already had to <laughs> take the $1 bill for something for a totally separate thing that I needed a $1 bill for. Um, and I did, haven't had a chance to replace it. So we're just going to deposit 120 this week. So 120 will be set aside for taxes, which means our current total in our envelope is 120, or it will be 120. So we've got one and 20. And when I was making these envelopes, you may have noticed that I glued this part down. I do that simply for um, video purposes because it just makes it a lot easier to put money in when recording videos. Um, otherwise, I would leave the flap over to protect the money and keep it in place. Although I've never had it fall out even by gluing it down like that. Okay, so next let's take a look at expenses. So my date and source are remaining the same. The amount so 30% also goes to expenses. So I actually leave this in my account so that I can use it when um, I need to purchase something. So I did leave 121 in the account, which means that our total just for this month is 121 because we had a balance from before, which I will share with you when we do the expense sheet. Okay, hey, weekly check-in. This is where we calculate how much my take-home pay is. Well, I get approximately 40%. It's not a straight 40% because I do round up for expenses and taxes. So um, the date was 3-2, income was $402, minus expenses was 121. Wait, yep. <laughs> And taxes, even though, yeah, even though I didn't do that, I did pull out 121. So in order to get the correct take home amount, I want to make sure that I take out that full amount. So, okay, so 402 minus 121 minus 121 means 160 will go to take home pay for this paycheck. So I'm going to come over here to take home pay. I'm going to write 160. So that brings our total to 160 because this is our first pay period. I went a little over the line. I'm going to fix that. I know I mention it in like every single video, but I love this erasable pen. <laughs> Okay, so let me make sure I have 160 here. So here's 1, 20, 40, 60. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my envelope for take home pay. Okay, so let's go over expenses. At the end of February, we were left with $5.99 in our account for expenses. So I'm just going to write start. Um, it was $5.99. So we started with $599. Okay, so let's go over all the expenses that I had for that first week of March. Okay, so my first expense was on 224. It's um, a February date because this pay period started in February. Okay, so uh, I made a purchase from Amazon and I purchased a new silhouette and I got a smaller one this time I, I have the cameo but this time I got the portrait and the reason why I did that well one it's a lot cheaper I think it's like a hundred dollars cheaper 
and two, um, it's it's really all I need. I, I never make anything bigger than eight and a half by eleven, and it, that's the size that it does. So, so that's why I um, went with that, and I'm really loving it. I'm hoping to be able to get another one soon. The more I have, the more I'm going to be able to, um, like the quicker I'll be able to to cut stickers. I, I forgot that I usually round up. So the cost of that would have been 247. I like to round up um, at my disadvantage. Just it just makes things easier for me. <laughs> okay, so 599 minus 247. 352. So that was a pretty major purchase. Okay, and then let's see what, if we had anything else. Oh, yep, I made a purchase on Etsy for, for some stickers from my um, friend, Kara Jo Plans. I'm gonna go ahead and use this space, Kara Jo Plans. And I spent $21 there. So 352 minus 21, 331. That's it. And then on the 2nd, so March 2nd, I had a payday. Pay from Etsy for $402 straight. So 331 plus 402, 733. Okay, so then on the 2nd, we had, I need to take out, um, Taxes, which is 121, and then my take home pay, which would have, which was 160. Okay, so 733 minus 121, that's 612, minus 160, 452. Okay, so currently, things that I need. I need to order toner, which I believe is over $300. Let's see, did I get toner last month? Yeah, it's $357. It's one of my most, it's like really big expense. I also need to order some sticker paper. Did I order any of that last month? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. So I need to order a big box of sticker paper and that's gonna be quite expensive too. It's pretty much gonna take everything that we have. So, yep, but that's that's what it's there for. It's to, there to cover those business expenses. So that is it. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone.